nerds and nerdettes, and welcome back to, um, Automation. Uh, my previous video was obviously about the 1988 Mustang, and I've been doing a lot of work to it. Just a little update video here. Sorry it's been 10 months, but I just got back from my first year of college, so here we go. I, if you notice, I changed this right here. I, I don't know where else. Oh yeah, I guess that did that too. Alright, since they've been doing these, I'm going to go to Mustang, yes, stock. Why did I do the race version? Dadgummit. Ah, I forgot to do new variant, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> well, alrighty, well, I guess I'll show you guys how this works too. Alrighty, well, go here, engine variant. Dad gummit. Alrighty. Alright. One, let's do this. Aluminum. No, it's not aluminum. We'll do 90 degrees, I guess. Alright, well, I guess I'll if it'll let me do this. Alright, engine. Uh, help it. Cause it's not that at all. Okay. Bye. Sandbox. <laughs> Bye at the gum it. Alright, let's see here. If I can get this down again, dad coming. Alright, what's it running at? Single clutch manual. Top speed. Why is that at 280 miles an hour? That's what I would like to know. Should be at 141. It's because the stupid engine is huge <laughs> all right as some of you have mentioned also you said there was no abs or traction i knew there was no traction i didn't know about the abs so i'll turn that off all righty uh test track all right engine i need to change the block material really badly like really badly <laughs> None of those are this. Why? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Thank you. Cast iron. All right. Push rod. Aluminum is head material. Yeah, that was cast iron. It was forged H beam forged. I put the quality on this to five. Why is it like that? Why did you do that? What? What? What are you doing to me? Why is this locked again? And why is this at two liters? You're making no sense! There we go. Game's still glitchy. <clears throat> Alright, compression, compression. compression was at 9 to 1. I think cam profile was at 46. That was obviously off. Quality bumped that up to five, naturally aspirated. Uh, obviously injection, single point EFI. I see obviously a lot. Uh, premium is what I did. I think I put that down to 13.7, up this to 64. Quality five, quality was eight on this, if I remember what I did correctly. Dual 1.5. Three way uh, reverse flow and none. <clears throat> What's that making now? I have no idea. Alright, skip. What? Oh. <laughs> well, RPM is at. Alright, that's supposed to be at 4200. 4200. Alright, um. <sighs> Not. All right, the ignition timing was at 57. I think. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's try it 
lowering the cam then. Wow, that worked miracles. Alright. Still gotta mess with the ignition timing, don't I? Was it this? No, it was the ignition timing. That's right. Alrighty, I got to get this up to a lower RPM. What in the world? Why are you. <sighs> I spent about an hour working on this engine, which is an insane amount of time, I know, but I wanted to get it perfect for you guys, and now it's not even working. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> forged HP. Yes, all that's correct. All that is correct. I know I didn't mess with compression because it was nine to one. Pretty sure it was a 46 almost positive. All right, apparently it wasn't. It's the right year, <laughs> okay. Standard single single premium. I think this was at 8, and that was at 5. That might have been it. I think that's what I did wrong. Was it? Probably. But I'll never find out. Alright, 57. Got to go miss with the cam. And back to messing with ignition timing. Oh, the joys of working on engines, right? Alright, well, that's... That's way too high now. For both of the applications. How am I one horsepower off and three for pounds of torque? I think it has to be... I think... Yeah, the hour I spent was working on the cams and the um, ignition timing the whole time. Alright, let's see. That's not doing me any favors. Was it lower or was it higher? You're getting to experience the frustrations of building engines and automations to exact realized specifications. Um, that can't be right. That can't be right at all. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right at all. It was the fuel mixture. That's what I'm doing wrong. Dad gum it. messed with fuel mixture. I know I did. I'm a moron. <laughs> Alright. Let's try to get this down to 3,000 RPM. Why do you drop so low? Well, back to ignition timing. 3,100 is... Well, I read somewhere that it wasn't 3,000, it was actually <clears throat> 3,200, so we'll, we'll see. Because I'm almost positive that was that. I can mess with a few extra to get the horsepower right. Come on, horsepower. Why you do this to me? Alright. What did I do that for? That's not gonna be 15, I can't check what it was there. All right. Sorry! <clears throat> yeah, not, not what I wanted at all. Alrighty. Let's get this done with 64. I'm almost positive it was 64, was it 57? Or was that the race engine that was at 57? Alright, I could check that too, huh? the pluses of having this new layout. Alright. Now that was 60. At one point it must have been 67 then. Why isn't this a 60? Let's do that, shall we? Mess with the K 
can't remember. Wow. <laughs> I'm one too high and one too low. for the win. No ignition timing for the loss. Big old fat loss. Alright, well I'm gonna leave that there. Put that on 64. Why do I just click back there? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know these things. I don't know why I do what I do. Alright. That worked perfectly. Wow. 300 at 3200 RPM and 225 horsepower at 4200 RPM. And if you notice, it's a V8 cast iron, 4 inch bore, 3 inch stroke, just like last time. Except this time, instead of dual overhead cam, I corrected it to push rod. And it's two valves of cylinder, aluminum head material. No VVL, obviously. Cast iron, crank, uh, forged H-beam connecting rods, forged pistons. This is the variant capacity of the family. Uh, five quality. Then it's compre nine to one compression, 46 cam profile. VVL profiles off, no VVT. Five, plus five quality, naturally aspirated, so you don't have to worry about any of that unless you want to add a turbocharger. Uh, injection, single point EFI, single, standard intake. I did premium fuel type, that's premium unleaded. 13.7 to 1 fuel mixture, 64 ignition timing, 4200 RPM limit, plus 8 to quality. Uh, tubular, just like last time. Uh, dual exhaust, no valve, 1.75 inch exhaust diameter, even though it should be 1.5, but I'm doing what I can right now. Three-way catalytic converter, reverse flow, no second mutter, mutter muffler, uh, plus six quality. And this is what it sounds like. lot of work but hey it actually did work all right we're going to name this 1988 5.0 stock because we can all right next manual single five speed top speed 140 because I'm just trying to get the first gear right which people say it goes up to um, 40 miles an hour that's about 40 miles an hour open if you guys know what kind of differential was in the 1988 5.0 please let me know I don't know if it was open manual lock or automatic viscous or geared please let me know about that so I put this manual single clutch 5 speed 141 miles per hour top speed left the spacing at 50 plus 5 to the quality I did plus 5 to the quality of everything uh, wheel diameter 24.4 15 inch rim 225 225 is what I found out uh, steel rim if you guys know they were alloys please let me know about that I would really appreciate it um, yeah, let's put good old Mustang rims on them um, plus 5 quality wall American racing that everybody does <laughs> solid disc 2 piston uh, I just did. I just left it at 50. I put it to 275 millimeters. That's the stock brake size I found in the front. Well, around there. So I just left it. I just put it there. If you guys say differently, I'll change it. Uh, drum in the back. Thanks. 
to the comments. I found out about the drums in the back to 230 millimeters because that's what that's the closest I found out. Um, oh, I should up that to five quality. Alrighty. Um, Semi-clad. If you guys know the type of under tray, let me know. I'm just trying to get this as spot on as I possibly can. Left this all stock. That should be at 293. That should go down to 110.7. I'll put it there then. Plus five with quality, just like everything else. Uh, four seater standard, plus five quality standard cassette, power steering, no anti lock brakes, no traction control, plus five with quality of that, standard 80s, plus five quality like always. Um, I found standard springs was the average ones I could find for stock springs for an 88 Mustang 5.0. If you guys know the type of shock, please let me know if it was twin tube or gas, uh, or mono tube. Uh, sway bar is passive, I just click the sport setting. There we go, plus five of the quality. Alright. 25 horsepower at 4200 RPM, weight 3200, which is <laughs> pretty spot on. 19.8 miles per gallon, pretty spot on. This is pretty accurate. Well, the acceleration is zero to sixty isn't accurate <laughs> whatsoever. I don't know what to do about that. But everything else is pretty good actually. Huh. Alright, so let's go to the not top geared track and let's see what this bad boy sounds like. Sounds <laughs> like a stock Mustang. Awesome. All right. Well, I don't play automation too much, so the I'm. Ability statistic describes how safe. Okay. Sporting. Really. Comfort. I. Right. Well, there's almost 40 drivability, 27.7. Sportiness, 32 comfort, 34 prestige, 46 safety. This is what I got. This is what I got. If you guys have any updates for me, if you guys know anything that I don't about these that I couldn't find out, please let me know. I'll fix it. I'm going to go fix the body right now. Because that's not supposed to be like that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.